Welcome back, I'm Rolly Coaster, and today we're going to redo a video I made about two months ago, maybe? I don't even know, but I made a video where I listed all of the coasters by Custom Coasters International. I'm going to redo that, because I feel that my opinions on each coaster, or my the input I gave on each coaster wasn't the greatest. And I can expand on that, so let's just get started. This is like completely unscripted, so um, let's see how this works. First one's Kingdom Coaster. This is just a little kitty coaster. Pretty out and back. It's not like your standard Woodstock Express. It's at Dutch Wonderland in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So there's that. Next up's Outlaw. The second CCI was a very not standard CCI. It was designed by Mike Boodley, who went on to form GCI, which is pretty cool. So it's got a lot of twister. Uh, it's a very twister layout. It's got a few pops of ejector airtime in there. Just like a GCI would, so it's basically, it's basically the first GCI before a Wildcat at Hershey Park. So that's pretty cool. Next up's Hoosier Hurricane, just a little out and back at Indiana Beach in Monticello, Indiana. Um, not much to say, it's by the lake. It actually goes over the lake. It's got steel supports. It was, I think it was like one of the first wooden coasters to actually use steel supports, so that's pretty cool. Next up, Zach Zoomer, which I have ridden. That's green. I don't really do the green thing anymore, but I'm using the same old slideshow that I used for the previous video. Um, yeah, it's actually the exact same layout as the Woodstock Express models at like Kings Island, Carowinds, Kings Dominion, except it was made by CCI like 20, 20 years later. Yeah, or yeah, something like that. Next up, Cyclops. This is a pretty interesting one. It's a very terrain-based coaster with uh, a few larger drops, and the drop with the the sign on it right there that says Cyclops, that drop used to provide some crazy ejector airtime, but uh, it was reprofiled in 2014 to um, to make the airtime less extreme. I've heard it was like one of the most intense moments of ejector air, like more than more than Jack Rabbit's double down. It's it was just crazy apparently, and I, I don't think that there was any seat belts here either. So I'm sure that was quite quite the experience. Uh, Cannonball Run, oh, another smaller out and back, uh, probably almost smaller than Hoosier Hurricane, so there's that. It's at Waterville, USA in Alabama, as you can see in the top right, pretty sure that's the, uh, is that the Mobile Skyline? Mobile? Birmingham? Montgomery? I'm not sure, I think it's Montgomery, actually. Anyway, next up is the Raven at Holiday World, uh, probably the best CCI up to its point, up to this point. And it's still a pretty good ride. It's similar to Cyclops. It's a little bigger. It's you know has those doesn't really have like a out and back layout or anything. It's terrain based. It goes. It's a shorter ride, just like Cyclops really. Uh, it's got those big drops, and one of the drops also provides some nice airtime. So there's that, and it goes through the woods. So pretty pretty fun ride, and that's why it was voted the number one wooden roller coaster for, in the Golden Ticket Awards for the first few years. So there's that. Next up's another. Next up, next up is another out and back, just like Hoosier Hurricane. It's at Silverwood, the first of two CCI to Silverwood. Not much to say here, just a standard out and back layout kind of thing, except it's got a helix. It's kind of double out and back, I guess one might say, but it's still mainly just a little out and back. Anyway, Underground and Adventureland was the first really dark ride. I don't know why that they went for this. It was a wooden dark ride. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. But it's a dark ride, that's all I know. Anyway, Pegasus Mount Olympus is a horrible layout for a kitty coaster. What were they thinking here? It's really, really not good. I'm sure the park came up with it and not CCI. It's it's very ungood. Probably like the worst kitty coaster of all time. The worst kitty woody, sorry. Worst kitty woody of all time. There. That's what this thing is. I might the sets might look more impressive than uh most kitty woodies like you know, Woodstock Express, but no. Wilson well, Express actually has some airtime. This thing just, it's, it's pretty rough and probably painful just a little bit. And the lines here are horrible because Mount Olympus is terrible at operations and they run one train on everything. Yes, even Hades. So there's that. Next up's Great White at Maurice Piers. The biggest CCI built uh, up to this point. Uh, there's a double out and back and yeah, pretty big one. Got some airtime hills and a lot of laterals. So there's that. Next up was Megaphobia. The first one, I think this was the first one built outside of the U.S. It's a 
very twister layout kind of um kind of train based i think it, it, it looks like it and lots of laterals and some nice airtime pops in there too i'm sure it's not not really a gci but uh got some some nice airtime hills mixed in with a lot of turns so there's that i keep saying the same thing i don't know what's going on anyway Tenera to zeus or thunder of zeus at park asterix is a long gci probably the longest ride duration of a cci and man it, it, it's it's very focused on laterals but it, it's similar to megaphobia in that it's got sections of a lot of turns and sections of like sweeping airtime hills you know just like woo 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 that kind of thing woo 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 that that's yeah okay great explanations here really poster what a great great commentator uh, i mean really stampede at port of ventura was the first dueling cci ever made and as you can see here it's got a lot of track no that's not a quadruple helix or a a uh, math 1080 degree helix or something like that no that's dueling moments yes there's a nice double up probably some good air time good laterals you know that's really all there is to say next up is tomahawk uh, another kitty woody uh but better than pegasus probably not as good as zach zoomer just a you know normal little thing here but actually uh oh, whoops it uh actually kind of duels with uh Stampeda at times, which is pretty cool. Zeus at Mon Olympus is very, very rough. What the heck? Very, very rough. Um, <laughs> it's a little out and back, and it's just apparently very, very rough. Yeah, that's all I can tell you. It's a rough out and back. The airtime, it, it looks like there's airtime, but I don't know. It was either 2 out of 10 on Incredible Coasters. I couldn't tell you. Uh, it goes pretty fast, though, for a little out and back like this. I mean, it isn't that little. It's 90 feet. Anyway, Shivering Term is ever in this one. Not very recently, though. It's the longest CCI ever. And boy, is it a big one. It's a huge out and back. Probably like the greatest example of an out and back coaster you could ever have. It's just hill after hill after hill. A turn around hill after hill after hill. A helix and the brake run. Yeah, that, that's, that's quite the out and back. And then there was Rampage at Alabama Splash. This is a very twister layout, terrain based coaster. And it looks like one of the best CCIs, if you ask me. It, this one does too right here. Uh, it's got a lot of airtime hills as well. A lot of laterals. It looks awesome. Just seriously, it, I should have got a uh, aerial shot of this coaster. It looks sweet. And then there was Excalibur at um, Funtown Splashdown. Kind of more of a twister layout, but also kind of out and back. Not too out and back. Um, it's got... I, I'd say it's got a decent amount of airtime. The, the beginning of the ride especially. The second half of the ride is really just laterals. Not too much airtime. Um, but yeah, that's that. It's pretty much the only major coaster in Maine. Pretty sad up there. Anyway, Twisted Twins at Kentucky Kingdom became this, but okay, all right. It became that uh, this year, 2016. Uh, it was a, the second dueling CCI, first in the U.S. It's, the only two were made. And this layout looked pretty darn boring, if you ask me. Uh, there didn't seem to be much, if any, airtime. There were like two airtime hills on each side. But they it ran over them pretty slowly. I don't think there was much airtime on, on there. Anyway, the entire second half of the ride is just the little turns that kind of tight turns that probably gave some laterals. But it's not the ride. It's probably, by far not the best CCI out there. Probably top twenty, maybe. I don't know. But but there was certainly some cool dueling moments like on the drop here, as you can see. So that's cool. But yeah, it was converted into the CCI Storm Chaser, as you can see here. Anyway, Ghost Rider, not very far. I'm pretty sure that, no, this is the tallest. Shipping Terminus was the tallest, I think. Or no. Well, the top, tallest drop was the boss. Anyway, uh, this thing, it's a double out and back. It's an L-shaped layout. A pretty long one, too. Got a lot of laterals, some nice airtime hills. And it was recently retracked by GCI. But no, it's not a GCI coaster. Why would it be a GCI? It's still a CCI. It just retracts. So like, I don't, I don't know why it was like, no, it's GCI now. I know it's... It's still got the CCI layout there, so yeah, that's my thought of the uh, the minor debate, I guess one might say. Yeah, so that's Ghost Rider. Looks like a fun ride. Silver Comet at Martin's Fantasy Island is a triple out and back. It's got a pretty weird layout though. Uh, well, yeah, it's triple out and back is what it is. It does uh, it does the first half out and back, some nice airtime hills, and then it does this part that you can see from this image. Where it does a double out and back type thing, triple out and back, yeah, some some along those lines, and it's kind of weird. Uh, 
Well, looks like some pretty good strong laterals though, so that's cool. And I've heard it's pretty smooth too, so I don't know. It looks pretty cool. If I'm ever in the Niagara Falls area or something, I could totally check this out. It's actually on 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 an island by Buffalo. I forget which island it's called, but yeah, Martin Fantasy Island. Tremors at Silverwood. Uh, I'd say this is probably a top three CCI, maybe top four. Uh, if if Rampage is better than this, uh, this thing looks awesome. It's got some nice airtime hills. It goes through some tunnels, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Great ride. Great ride. I'm sure it is. It's got, you know, laterals, twister layout, all of that usual stuff. Then there was the boss. This was a certainly certainly a unique coaster here. It's this thing oops, this thing really didn't have any airtime at all. It was I mean it might look like it from here, but no, there's really none. It's all laterals here. Uh it's got a pretty weird layout. It kind it really focuses on the drops and not the airtime. Probably not many airtime. There's not much airtime on the drops either. It's just laterals after laterals because after the drops you go on the turns. Probably get some strong laterals, but they're not the best laterals because you're in gross sour trains, which are painful. Uh, yeah, there's a helix, double helix that ends the ride. That looks pretty intense. Uh, I think this should get an RMC just like Medusa Steel Coaster was. So anyway, villain Jogger Lake. This one, oopsies. This closed with the park in 2007, so that doesn't matter. Well, no, it's a triple out and back layout. Pretty weird. <laughs> I had some airtime, had that that turn right after the drop. It looked kind of brutal, if you ask me. Pretty weird first half of the layout where it was a drop, a rise into a very tall hill that definitely didn't provide any airtime. And then you dipped into the coveted trick track element, which was awesome and was removed on Shivering Timbers. Rip. Uh, yeah, it's it, pretty weird layout, but it probably had some decent air time in the second half. Not the greatest, though. It's probably a 6 out of 10 ride. Then there was the Legend at Holiday World, which, lateral machine, if you ask me, but it's also got a few air time moments, probably on one or two of the drops, and there's just one air time hill. Um, yeah, a lot, lot of laterals here. There's a double helix, and there's, you know, it's a curved drop, and the entire ending of the ride is just turn after turn after turn. Yeah, it's probably some of the strongest, most comfortable laterals, unlike the boss, which is just all-out painful laterals. This thing looks pretty pretty comfortably good laterals, yes. Here we have Hurricane, which was probably the roughest CCI of all time. Closed in 2006 with the park. It was a pretty big one, kind of out and back, I guess. It was, yeah, it was out and back layout until it hit that helix there. Uh, it had a steel support structure, as you can see, and pretty. It, if you watch uh, Theme Park Review's point of view, uh, they it, it was brutal. Gristlar changed and everything, so and it was Mega Zap, which also ran with Gristlar trains and also closed with the park a year before the last one did, which is too bad because this looked, looked like an awesome ride, especially the second half where they had those airtime hills. Oh man, it looks almost as good as Boulder Dash's second half. Yeah, it's just awesome. This was a Kind of a, it was pr pr pretty unique layout. I think it was like a double out and back, or triple or something. I don't know. I, it's complicated. I have to look at the layout again. But yeah, great ride. Lots of airtime. Lots of laterals. Speaking of lots of airtime, lots of laterals, and a great setting. This also had a kind of nice setting in the swamp. But this one even better. Probably one of the best settings for a coaster. Um, this is Boulder Dash. So much airtime on this ride, and um. Yeah, yeah, it, it goes through the forest, through the woods and everything at Lake Count Bounce in Connecticut. Connecticut. I don't think I've been saying the names of the, the parks. Well, unscripted commentary. Way to go. Yeah, great ride, great ride. Medusa, this is similar to the boss, I'd say. It seemed to have a few airtime moments, but not much. It was another lateral machine, I guess. Um, looked kind of painful, which is why it was converted into an RMC, as you can see here. I don't know what that weird black thing is in the track, but that doesn't matter. Let's just keep going. Cornball Express at Indiana Beach is better than Hoosier Hurricane, surprisingly. It's a very twister layout with some nice pop of ejector in there. It's pretty small, I know. But, oh my golly. I should have closed Skype before I made this, but that doesn't matter. We're still making the video. Let's just do this. Pretty short ride, but... Uh, the ending of the ride looks great. Some nice pops of air time and lateral combined. And just also this. Looks like a pretty fun ride, definitely. Then one of the last CCIs ever made was Cheetah at Wild Adventures. An out and back with a nice helix in there. 
And uh, yeah, it looks pretty typical, similar to uh, Timber Terror and Hurricane, I guess. But it's probably a pretty smooth ride, too, compared to Hurricane. And then their second dark ride, after Underground, they made the Lost Coaster and Super Sister Mountain, also at Indiana Beach, like this guy, right? This guy. Yes. So they made this guy. I, I really don't know why that people would ever get wooden coaster dark rides. That's kind of weird. But yeah, 2002 they did, and it has an elevator lift, which is crazy. Uh, it's not not something that they that nobody, it's not something that anybody ever brags about really. Only wooden coaster with an elevator lift. Yeah, pretty weird. So that's that. That's the Lost Coaster Super City Mountains. It's the last coaster that CCI ever finished, but no, there's one more. The New Mexico Rattler at Cliffs Amusement Park in Albuquerque. Albuquerque, New Mexico. The only major coaster in New Mexico, really, besides uh, Pinfari, I think. Pinfari Cyclone. Um, this is a pretty cool ride. It looks like a twister layout with a curved drop, a GCI kind of thing. Some nice airtime hills in there. Pretty long ride, too. Good pacing. Probably a top 10 CCI. Top, like, top, it's in between top 5 and top 10. Somewhere in there, like 7 or 8. Yeah, it looks like a really fun ride. Really above average, I, I'd say. And looks pretty smooth, too. But CCI didn't finish this. They went bankrupt during the construction, so the construction team was hired and the ride was completed by them. So that was all the CCI coasters. Hope you guys enjoyed my terrible commentary at times. But hey, that's, that's, yeah, whatever. I'll see you guys later. Bye.